Building modern day cities is a challenge without the right machinery, and there are certain tools we need in order to get the job done. Not everyone will get the chance to know how to split concrete or how to use a crane that delivers supplies to space stations. From computers that store data on US citizens to gadgets used by SWAT teams, here are extreme machines that you need to see. Previet comrades, this is your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. But first, we'd like to give a shout out to Salar Ali for leaving us this comment on our most powerful militaries video. We asked you guys which country we might have left off the list, and we're sure Pakistan can put up a good fight. Maybe we'll even mention those commandos in an upcoming video. Number 12, the Jacobite. Described as possibly the greatest railway journey by many in the world, you take a trip through what seems to be the untouched land of Scotland and many freshwater locks. This certainly seems like the most magical train ride in the whole world. It's only enjoyed by the most dedicated travelers, and it's operated by West Coast Railways. This steam engine uses a form of power that many people would have already forgotten about. People who take a ride on this extreme machine often know that there's variations in color, weather, and landscapes while just taking this 84-mile train ride. Many claim that one of the best times to get on this ride is during autumn when the trees start to slowly change their color. The journey starts at Britain's highest mountain all the way to the remote western lands of Scotland. It would almost seem like you've gone back in time as soon as you enter the Jacobite. Number 11. Asphalt Splitters You drive on paved roads just about every day of your life if you live in the western world, but you probably don't think too often about how they're made or how the heavy machinery is used to make them. You typically need a bulldozer to clear the land, an asphalt mixer to coat the stones that'll be placed, and then an asphalt flattening team to make it nice and smooth. It can be a long process, mistakes might get made, and various machines are put to good use. If something goes wrong and the team needs to remove some of the asphalt, then it might be necessary to get one of these massive chainsaw looking machines known as an asphalt splitter to break it up. It might shoot a lot of dust up into the air, but they might also be needed to clear asphalt for constructing places where trees might be grown. There are plenty of reasons why it might need to be removed, such as installing underground wire, pipes, or telephone wires, so there are some important machines out there. And they also could rip through some zombies if needed to. Number 10. The Rin Speed Scuba This amphibious car is developed by a Swiss company called Rin Speed, and it's the first of its kind. It can be driven on both land and underwater. While some cars can be turned into boats fairly easily, this one can be your own private submarine for the right price. How much would you guess one of these costs? If you guess 1.5 million, good job. If you're willing to fork over the cost of this, you could have your own James Bond style vehicle. This is an all electric vehicle which uses three motors that will allow it to drive along the bottom of a body of water. Instead of hitting deers, if you're driving this, you gotta watch out for hitting sharks or other underwater creatures. It has room for one other adventurous occupant and breathing masks may be needed. Number 9. The Rook So what vehicle do the police use as they're about to conduct a siege on a two-story building? That's right, they call in the Rook. This is described by its manufacturers as being six tons of pure responsive force. For $250,000, the Rook could bring in four SWAT team members close enough to someone's second story window with a security of steel armor. The extendable platform can reach up to 11 feet, and they're mostly used in the case of a big standoff with police, where they believe the suspect is armed. It's almost like a bulldozer that's used to shield the SWAT team. If it wanted to, we're sure it could flip over cars or destroy your house as well, so you better do what it says. It has a few special features such as cameras, gun ports, dual joystick controls, and air conditioning. Number 8. NASA Cranes NASA has a lot of heavy equipment and machines that need to be moved around. Rockets can't be placed exactly where they need to be without massive cranes that we see in these videos. The huge cranes are also used to transfer cargo from transport vehicles carrying things like satellites, fuel tanks, and other various equipment. One of the biggest cranes ever used by NASA was the Canadarm, which was used in space to deploy and maneuver different payloads. Canada was given the honor to build this for us from NASA, and it was modeled after a robot that they would use to load fuel into nuclear reactors. It was able to deploy and reload payloads of 733 pounds at first, then redesigned to control about 10 times that much in the 1990s. The large machine was over 577 feet long when fully extended, and weighed about 2 tons. It was one of Canada's big achievements, and enjoyed 30 years of successful missions. Number 7. The Akko Superdozer 
bulldozers are designed to push extremely large quantities of soil, sand, rubble out of the way, which means the bigger the machine, the more work it can get done. You can tell the people who made this thing were trying to get a lot of work done. Being the largest and the most powerful track bulldozer on this list, the Yakko Superdozer makes it on our list for sure. You better stay out of the path of one of these superdozers because it's made of 183 tons of steel. Made primarily from caterpillar parts, it was constructed in Italy in the early 1980s and nothing bigger has been made since. It's powered by two 675 horsepower engines and has a blade of 23 feet wide and 9 feet high. Only one was ever produced and was apparently going to be sent to Libya so it could help with further land development. Unfortunately, there was too much political instability in the area and the Akko Superdozer stayed in Italy. Number 6. The Komatsu PC-8000 One of the world's biggest mining excavators belongs to the company Komatsu who constructed the PC-8000 which is an extreme machine that you need to see. Komatsu is well known for constructing hydraulic excavators that are built with the highest quality materials who can take care of some of the biggest jobs out there. It's used often for mining purposes but also for construction or just simply digging some kind of hole. The larger excavators are built for mining and are designed to handle the task quickly and effectively. The PC-8000 uses two powerful diesel engines that can put out a whopping 2,010 horsepower. At full operating weight, this beast can weigh 710 tons at least. The bucket size measures in 124 square feet or about 38 square meters in volume. It's also available with shovel and backhoe attachments. Number 5. International Space Station the International Space Station is basically just one big machine that floats around in outer space and is shared by 16 different nations. While you might think driving 80 miles an hour down the freeway is fast, this thing moves at an alarming 5 miles per second and circles planet Earth in only 90 minutes. There are many minor components that are essential to its practical use and it's also the most expensive object we've ever built, costing $120 billion. We all know what you're thinking though, how on Earth, or outer space, do they go to the bathroom with no gravity? This photo here shows a state-of-the-art space bathroom designed by NASA, complete with harnesses and pumps to create a sanitary bathroom for the astronauts. Keeping the toilet airtight is key, so a tight airspace between the user and the toilet is needed for this to work. Foot straps keep the person on the john, and the suction pipes take care of the rest of the work. In case you're wondering, that's how it goes down. Number 4. NASA Pegasus Barge NASA has some big machines on the seas as well, and not just in space. This photo here shows us the Pegasus Barge, which was used for transporting external shuttle tanks and other large equipment from New Orleans to launch facilities in Florida. The transport barge is 260 feet long, 50 feet wide, and 15 feet high, and was stationed at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. This extreme machine has allowed for NASA to complete some impressive missions and to assemble their rocket ships in a timely manner. It's the only barge of its kind and has been around since 2002 has made at least 41 trips between 1999 and 2011, delivering 31 external fuel tanks. Number 3. NSA Data Center Residents of Bluffdale, Utah might not be aware that there's a huge NSA database hiding behind a hill near their town. But you can't hide from Google Maps. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one before it becomes one of those places censored on Google Maps. The area was supposedly chosen for the patriotism of the Utah residents, but more than likely chosen for the cool climate to cool down their massive servers. The building uses energy to power over a thousand houses. The city of Bluffdale had to construct a $3 million system to deliver the water to the federal building. The Army Corps of Engineers originally stated that it needed 1.7 million gallons of water a day to operate, but they settled on 1.2 million. Let's not forget about the massive amount of data being stored on citizens on computers, which can be accessed with a warrant being stored here. A legislator wanted to stand up to the feds and shut off the water to the facility, but what would the consequences be? And number two, but first, what do you think the NSA knows about you from your browsing history, and what do you think would happen if Utah shut off the water to the facility? Let us know in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number two, Bertha Boring Tunnel Machine. Although it might have a boring name, this is an extreme machine that began boring massive tunnels in 2013. It was named after the first female mayor of Seattle, Bertha Knight Lands, and manufactured in Osaka, costing $80 million. It was used to build the Alaska Way Viaduct and simply massive. It was 326 feet long and weighed 6,700 tons. It was often criticized after it stopped drilling for two full years. There was damage to the cutter head and malfunction after only digging 9,270 feet, being stuck about 60 feet underground. Redigging began in December of 2015 and then the project halted less than a month when the excavator thing tipped over in the tunnel. And number one, the Seawise Giant. 
previously known as Opama, Nock Nevis, the Yari Viking, Happy Giant, and then finally Seawise Giant, it's safe to say it's changed its name quite often. It became the largest ship by deadweight tonnage after lengthening. It was built in the late 1970s as an oil taker in Japan and measures about 1,500 feet in length. This vessel was actually attacked during the Iran-Iraq War and sank to the bottom, but was resurfaced in order to be repaired. But don't go anywhere just yet. We got a question for you. Can you tell us the name of this vehicle here in the photo? If you get the answer right, maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. You gotta be first though.